Hey guys, how's it going? It's that time of the night again, so I figured I'd grab the camera and uh, do another update. First, first things first, as you can see, uh, the windows popped in there. I uh, think I'm gonna try finding a used one for this side. This is the other one that, that took a crack up the center right when I was trying to reinstall it. But uh, see what we can do for there. But anyway, that's uh, sealed back up uh, in case it does go outside. That the weather's not going down the inside. And uh, the whole thing is uh, uh, kind of encased in that wax that I put on there, which is toilet wing rack wax. And it's not actually wax. It's um, it's a, it's a petroleum product. Um, it's called oh, I'm gonna forget it now. Slag wax, something like that. And uh, it is from lubricating oils when they when they when they wring it out the the material is separate in like different layers kind of guess like milk you know and uh, well this is one of the thicker uh, parts that um, come off of that and that's what they make it out of so it's it's got a lot of oil in it and uh, that's kind of why I went with that stuff I have a feeling it will make a, a you know pretty much a impenetrable barrier let's say in all those little nooks and crannies and guys are saying, what happens when you put it out in the sun? Who knows? <laughs> uh, it'll get shiny. The, um, what I like about it, it's kind of self-healing too. So, you know, it gets, gets a hot day or something. It just kind of re-solidifies and pushes itself down further and further, further in those little, those little nooks and crannies. It's kind of like butter on toast, you know? But uh, I think it has a higher melting point than regular wax does. Anyway, so that's what's going on with that. I think I'm going to do that on the rest of the body, too. On the inside, yeah, a little different in here, huh? Welded in those uh, the floors and um, then uh, sealed all the uh, welds. And then again, the same on the top. And then mixed up some paint to see how close I can kind of come to what the other stuff was. I know it's, first of all, it's too shiny. <laughs> and uh, it's still too blue. I have gray blue and black to work with so I have more gray less black less blue I think on the next batch because I want to still do on the inside of here and all the decking has been removed from the top of this because I'm gonna go play down below I got some uh, more parts in I got uh, gas tank came in and I'm gonna see about getting the mounting brackets and whatnot for this floor that's in here uh, in someone was asking you put about uh, put a gas gauge in it the old tank that was there is probably a, uh, a change out also because it already has the sending unit so it already did, does have the capacity for uh, put, put a gas gauge in it whether that sending unit's any good or not and then I gotta get that pedcock out of there and clean that up see if and get that to work because that has a um, reserve a cable goes to a lever right here and then when you run out of gas you pull that lever and it probably has a pickup, you know, maybe an inch or two off the bottom of the tank and uh, gives you however, however much more. So, there she is. Uh, what it looks like with all the decking on there, all that, that new uh, lumber, so to speak. And then you can also, you can see all the standoffs I put on, every, on all of them. As far as like, uh, those guys. Underneath, so it just transfers the load back down again to the to the main uh, main beams there, and then again it's also still welded to the uh, the old stuff, so it's stronger than it was. Will be stronger than it was before. What else we got? Oh, the hatch. I did start doing some uh, um, gate repair, but we're we're starting with the ones that are most crucial, <laughs> which is this one. Um, Plus, I have the top off of it, so it's easier to work on it. As you can see, it's closed right now. But it has been cut up and modified and whatnot to make it work again and give it some kind of strength back. Right now, there's a little, little half-assed jobber right now. It's in a lock position. And uh, that's like a lock that's open. And then if you lift it all the way up, it unlocks it. See if you can do this one-handed. Kind of see, oh, I'll show you up top here uh, where all that's been repaired. And uh, 
do quite a few little tack ones. <laughs> I should kick the light on it. Oh, let me show you something else too. And then I added this guy, a little kickstand on the side. Let me put the light on. There you go. So then I added a little kickstand so that you can lock it wherever you want. And then it had a wing nut on it that you kind of just locked down on the rod and it would stay. But if you backed it off, I'm afraid when you drive it would just kind of work its way right out and land on the decking. So I welded a, uh, a bolt to it so the weight of it will always want to hold in one position. You know, it won't be able to spin around. It'll just only allow you at the bottom position. There's ashen. And cleaned up the hinge brackets and gave it something to weld to. But uh, it works nice. I didn't do much with kind of straightening the outside. I kind of wanted to leave it funky, you know, it's got a big old dent scratch across it. And the scratch continues on the side of it. So I'm not taking any of that stuff out. I'm just leaving all that in there. For now, this is what I have for a wrench. They have a church key that goes in there, I believe. But for now, we have a homemade one. Should go in there. So, like I said, that kind of got you can lock it that's a regular if you shut it it'll latch and then to open it too far down the hole hold on there you go and then open it what's that there we go now we'll see what it work how it works after a gasket's installed too you know <laughs> it looks good that's stronger and better than it was before. It was uh, one of the hinges was busted right off of it, and uh, there was really nothing left of that bottom edge. And that thing that's in there is a boat, um, like for uh, a small recreational boat for the windshields. That's what that chrome thing is. Got them at a yard sale during the summer. And I have one more too, and the setup for the hatch. The rear hatch is not there also, so that needs to be addressed. So I'll make one also uh, for this and have it operate the same way. Uh, that stuff, they usually have like a kickstand that comes up and, and you know, clicks on itself and you lift up on it and it'll fall back. All that stuff's been long gone. So, And I got those and I can adjust them in any position too. You know, it's kind of nice if I want, if I want to leave that one uh, on an angle, I could probably use that as a table and uh, just lock it in, you know, whatever dead flat position I want. Fumes it smells good. I don't know if uh, I like the fact that there's paint on this. <laughs> I gotta do something now, you know, to help protect it. And uh, that's gonna get a mat on the bottom of it anyway. And then this stuff gets covered up. The seat covers it. And um, I don't know if this would have had. It may. It probably had a vinyl um, mat that laid over the top of all that. Problem with that vinyl stuff is. Um, it holds moisture in, so it, it causes the floor to rot out because it just, you know, it's a piece of rubber laying on the floor. Yeah. Well, I feel like I'm forgetting something. Here's what I cut off those gates. That gate. <laughs> Wasn't much left of that, so I just cut it back to where there was something I could weld to, you know. And just very lightly tacked all the way around until I got some metal back on it, and it's. It's 20 gauge is what I, I put on it. Here's the uh, profile that I had to bend up. Is that it? Oh, I know something else. So uh, <laughs> I sold a, uh, one of my neighbors a snowblower that I picked up uh, at a yard sale. It was one of those snow, snow commander things. And um, as you can see, it's back again. He, uh, calls me up and says, yeah, he goes, hey, you're having a problem and it won't start. And then he continues to tell me that um, he dropped it out of the back of his truck. So uh, I guess after right after he got it from me, he, he left here. He didn't have his tailgate latched all the way. And he had a little bungee on the thing. But, um, um, you know, that he took off from an intersection or whatever, gone out, the gate popped down. It, it fell out of the back of it and it went sliding down the road. So the handlebars were bent really bad on it, crushed down to one side. And... Uh, 
you know, when I grabbed it, I fired, it fired right up. I'm like, okay, well, it runs. Let me just fix the handlebars. So I fixed all that stuff. And then I went to go run it, wouldn't run. And saw there was no gas in it, went to put gas in it. And uh, the gas tank was cracked. And uh, the whole shell of it kind of is, is racked a little bit. I could probably, you could probably just beat on it and it'd probably come right back. But I don't know how it's going to be, you know, uh, long, longevity wise. So anyway. I said, to him, I told him what the issue is. Let me get rid of his phone number. And uh, I said, you sure you want to put any money in it? And he's like, nah, not really. You know? And he just thanked me for trying to help him out. Anyway, so I gave him like 40 bucks for what was left. And um, I'm probably just going to take the motor. And the reason why I'm going to take that motor is because it's a seven horse, two stroke. You know, the last bike I just made was made out of like a three, three and a half. That's the exact same setup but it's seven horse and it's got um, an electric starter. It is an AC electric starter. That starter is no good, but what's good, it's got the, the ring gear with the electric start. And I think I have um, a DC motor for one of these, a DC starter motor that'll fit it. So that'd be cool to put on a bike and have a, get rid of the pull start, you know, is that the electric start? So a little side note, what else? No, no, that's it. I think I might um, take the front and um, take all take the lights out of it, take the emblem off from the back side of it, and uh, scrub that down. I was kind of kind of wait till the end, but I want to continue on with stuff, and I don't know. Plus, I just want to do it, <laughs> so I may uh, be taking that off and cleaning that that face up, and then waxing that up. Uh, pretty soon instead of waiting till the end all right guys i'm gonna go shut her down and uh i don't know maybe go paint something in the back there or run some more steam sealer okay take care bye